Facebook has been in the news recently with one of the co-founders saying that it is time for it to be broken up. And that has actually become one of the issues that the different Democrats pursuing the presidential nomination have been weighing in on. Cory Booker was asked about this and in sort of advancing his position in this area, he also weirdly compared Elizabeth Warren to Donald Trump. Take a look. I don't care if it's Facebook, the pharma industry, even the agricultural industry. We've had a problem in America with corporate consolidation that is having really ill effects. It's driving out the independent family farmer. It's driving up our prescription drug costs. And in the realm of technology, we're seeing small companies, small one or two companies controlling a significant amount of the online advertising. So should they be broken up? Well, we need them. Again, I, I believe in process. And we should have, if I'm president of the United States, I will have a justice department that uses antitrust legislation to do the proper investigations and to hold uh, industries accountable for corporate consolidation. I Elizabeth think, Warren's already out there saying break up Facebook, break up uh, Google. But I, 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 I don't think <clears throat> break that, up Amazon. Right, but I don't think that a president uh, should be running around pointing at companies and saying breaking them up without any kind of process here. I, do I think it is a massive problem in America, corporate consolidation? Absolutely. It's about making sure that we have a system that works. It's not me and my own personal opinion about going after folks. That sounds more like a Donald Trump thing to say, like I'm going to break up you guys. No, we need to create systems and processes. You just compared to Elizabeth Warren to Donald I, I, Trump. I most that's... certainly did not. Well, she that's is what my she's friend. saying. She's, she's the one that's saying that. Well, again, she has. Let her discuss and debate her positions. I'm telling you right now, we do not need a president that is gonna use her own personal beliefs and tell you which companies we should break up. We need a president that's going to enforce antitrust laws in this country and I will be that person. Okay, so in a sec, we're gonna have <laughs> so a couple of the different candidates, <laughs> uh, what, what they have said about breaking up Facebook. But uh, first of all, can we just be clear? He says, uh, I certainly did not compare her. Yeah, he did. He says absolutely nothing, essentially, in that entire statement. First of all, he's asked a, a yes or no question. Mm -hmm. Should these companies be broken up? And he dodges that, which is weird. Um, and then they point out that Elizabeth Warren has a very direct answer about this. And then he's, he does compare her to Trump and then dodges that, like falls back on that, which is mm -hmm. a little, I don't know, disrespectful to everyone's intellect. And then also is asked, like, in Furthering his response, I don't think a president should talk like that. Okay, so then do you think they should be broken up? I don't think a president's personal beliefs, this is what this is about. Mm -hmm. Your personal beliefs, no one's saying that you get to go in and your personal, we don't, we only Donald Trump thinks the presidency works like that. But we do want to know what mm -hmm. your personal your beliefs king, are. We yeah. want to know, right, exactly. Like, so your personal beliefs on everything matter. Mm -hmm. You, it, The system is set up in a way so that your personal beliefs don't matter. Like you can't just go in and just change everything mm -hmm. just because you personally feel like that. The system is already set up like that. We got that part, but, yeah. but what are your personal beliefs? That just was, um, was odd. Yeah, and I, I also found it to be pretty condescending towards Elizabeth Warren. Yeah. That, like the idea that her thinking that it's time to break up these monopolies is just her personal opinion. She just thought about it. There's been no research, there's no process. He keeps talking about process, she doesn't have a process. He has a process, she just has personal opinions. Right, and as if the, the, her history as a politician, as a public servant essentially, doesn't shape her personal opinion. Yeah. Her personal opinions matter. Mm -hmm. And by the way, if you'd like to find out more about what she thinks on this, you can go to the <laughs> uh, very, She's got a policy. very blunt, yeah, she does. <laughs> she wrote this, here's how we can break up big tech. And she goes in depth on Medium and, you, Medium and you can see why she thinks that needs to happen. And obviously, if she were to become president, she wouldn't come in day one and then DM them that they're broken up. That's not how it works. The idea that he's the only person that would have some sort of process or no, that's that's ridiculous. Um, everybody would obviously. You and have to. Exactly, <laughs> and that process already exists, by the way. Right. Monopolies have been broken up. This is not some wild new thing that she's thinking yeah. about. It's just the modern version of other problems that we've had with telecoms and oil companies and things like that in the past. Um, she's also, by the way, not the only person talking about this. Uh, Kamala Harris said, I think that Facebook has experienced massive growth. It has prioritized its growth over the best interests of its consumers, especially on the issue of privacy. There's no question in my mind that there needs to be serious regulation and that has not been happening. There needs to be more oversight, that has not been happening. When Jake Tapper asked her directly, 
directly whether she believed that Facebook should be broken up. She said, yeah, I think we have to seriously take a look at that. Yes, I mean, when you look at the issue, they're essentially a utility, which is not the same thing as saying, let's break them up, but it's closer than Booker. Booker is saying, you know, we're gonna have a process, we're gonna have a thing, check back in 32 years, we'll see what happens. Um, take a look at his donors, you might have an idea of why he's uh, wanting to sort of run out the clock on that. <laughs> um, but she's been pretty strong. Bernie Sanders tweeted, I applaud Facebook co-founder Chris Hughes for sounding the alarm on the dangers of unchecked corporate power. We're living in an era of monopolies that dominate every aspect of our lives, including our government. It's time to take that power back. That I would say is actually slightly less in the direction of breaking them up than what Kamala Harris said and certainly than what Elizabeth Warren said. Right. He seems to be okay with the idea, but he's not specifically calling for it yet. And he's right, they do need more oversight. But um, I, not, I also wanna push back on the idea that social media is a utility. We mm. are not gonna get to a point, as much as we depend on it and we are obsessed with it, we're not gonna compare it to water. Mm. <laughs> and like our, our mm -hmm. need for it, that's absolutely ridiculous. And there is competition, Facebook is- You I, don't think I, we need Twitter? <laughs> I, I want it. And Twitter's not one of the ones that's being but, talked about being broken up. But. Right, but um, wouldn't Twitter well, be a direct competition of Facebook though? Like this idea that there is no competition, it's just not as popular as Facebook, but. Yeah, I mean, the, the argument that they make is that places like Amazon are both a platform for a service to be sold and also a person who's selling things on the service. So Amazon is a place that you could sell things, mm -hmm. it's the biggest one, they also sell things on there. Uh, Google and Facebook are sort of similar in that respect, that they are both a platform and an entity operating in that platform. And obviously, the fact that it's their platform gives them a massive advantage over everyone else. Right, so that, that, I find that argument more compelling than just the generalized idea that it's a utility. We we were talking about this before the show a little bit, and I guess I just have more questions. And I it's easy for me to respond to Cory Booker's statement because he didn't really give us one. And I think that there's well that statement that's a little really ridiculous. fast, really yeah. fast. That statement from Cory Booker is Cory Booker. He's got some good plans and some stuff. He didn't seem like a genuinely bad guy. If he were president, there'd be some good days in the news. But the vast majority of it would be sort of like like verbal like doing laps just. Obviously, he receives money from these industries. He does not want to shake things up too much. It would be another thing like Obama, it'd be like 5% change in a lot of these things. But generally, we wouldn't drastically rethink things like breaking up the, the biggest corporations in the world or anything like that. That's just who he is, it's not in his, like, like there are some areas where I don't think that he is receiving much money. So for instance, on marijuana, he's come out with a very good plan. He's willing to legalize it and all that stuff. But in big areas, I just don't think he's going to be that candidate. I think that other candidates, whether they're the, the most progressive, Warren and, and Bernie Sanders, or even Kamala Harris in some of these areas, are more likely to be willing to like fundamentally rethink the status quo of, of some of these industries. Is it also, is it a monopoly if um, you just happen to be better at it than your competitors that already exist? I mean, that might be the reason it becomes a monopoly, but it could still be a monopoly okay. regardless. If there are other are competitors? I mean, no monopoly exists without any competition whatsoever. Okay. It's the idea that it's that's so big that there's effectively no no competition. Yeah, this and I'm, look, I'm not saying it has me. to be right. broken up. Yeah. I'm just saying I'm I'm relaying the arguments for why that might be. No, yeah, and I think I'm and I'm generally okay with it <laughs> with, if they want to do that. I'm confused yeah. by this yeah. a little bit. Okay, I'm well, shocked a little bit. Cor I don't know. Perhaps Cory Booker's process will <laughs> it made it worse for me. Yeah, okay. exactly. <laughs> um, and and there will be more plans. I'm assuming since this is a big thing in the news. Thank you very much for watching this clip from The Damage Report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.